In this video we're going to look at the observation taskbar at the top here. Um, very straightforward, the drop downs here, these allow you to switch to the different uh, modes that we can actually record data uh, relating to. For instance, you get the subjects here, that will bring up the subjects that may be involved in the particular study. You can lean analysis, Kaizen, these are typical groupings that you might have uh, available for each of these uh, lean Kaizen, 5S, MED, changeovers, even ergonomics here. You click on the ergonomics, you go into the ergonomics mode, inserts a, an ergonomics column here. And you can double click here, and this will bring up a little body map and allow you to play back the video. And you can p identify any stresses you might have here. Uh, other things you can do here would be the access to quick times, grouping of elements, grouping of models, parts, quantity, cycle, time values, work breakout. That's whether it's going to be, um, if you click on one of these guys, it's going to be wait time, manual, auto or walk, and um, normal, grouped and fixed, alternates, incidentals. Uh, many of these uh, features we're, we're going to be adding to the product as we go through the next couple of iterations. We wanted to let you see what was available here. Uh, put it back here to your time study, which is the default, of course. Uh, this is to allow you to group items here. This moves items up and down, so you can move observations up and down through the list here by moving here. You can select the particular observation. To select, you click in the left-hand column here. So you can select a range of observations. Like I'll just click on here, and I can come down and do a shift click. I'll select all four of these. This would allow you to delete these. All right, so this can, you can you want to delete the items, that takes them out. You want to undo the deletion. That brings them back. This allows you to move the activities from the top to the bottom and you can toggle it up and down, whatever is more convenient for your data collection needs here. Right. This allows you to maximize the activity list down at the bottom here. And this allows you to maximize the grid data up here. You can put it back side by side and bring it back the way it was here. Uh, these options out here, this allows this is a breakpoint adjustment. Uh, in other words, you've got a start and a stop time and it's not quite at the right point. You can adjust it here using the breakpoint adjustment here. There's separate videos on this here. This uh, allows you to add a sound file to the selected element. So if you select the particular element, uh, you can click here and it will insert, uh, I allow you to add your own audio to that particular element, replacing the audio that might be on the video. Again, a separate video on that as well here. Uh, this allows you to... Um, uh, extract the video as a separate, uh, that particular item highlighted as a separate file if you want to use it elsewhere. And this allows you to use, uh, upload your elements to YouTube. So you can see there's quite a number of things that you can actually do right here. Uh, some of them will be covered in more detail, the video and uh, videos in other sections here.